In the last three lessons, we've spoken mainly about how we can split up text strings, and we've seen lots of different methods that we can use to do that. But what about if we want to do the opposite? Well, we saw how we can use flash fill to combine values together, but we can also use a text function called concat. And you would use concat whenever you want to join values in different cells together and make them one string. Now, before we get on to using the concat function, let me show you another way that you can join text strings together. Because we can simply use the ampersand symbol to join cells together. So, for example, if I want to join together the first name and the last name, what I could do over here is type in equals, select the first cell, and then I could use the ampersand sign. So if I do ampersand and select the second cell, so, so this time the last name, that's going to join these two text strings together. Now if I press enter, let's take a look at it. Well, yes, it has joined them together, but I don't have a space in the middle. So I also need to account for the space. So let's double click to edit the cell. What I need to add in here is after the first ampersand, I need to specify that I want a space between the names. Now space counts as text, so it needs to be enclosed in quote marks. So quote, space, quote, and then another ampersand to join the space with the text in cell B4. So now when I hit enter, I get exactly what I'm looking for. And I could copy that down and it's going to do the same for all of those names. So you can use just an ampersand symbol if you want to join text strings together, but you need to make sure that you do account for things like spaces, dashes, commas, things like that. So very straightforward. Now concat allows us to do something very similar, but this time we're using an Excel function. So let's do the same thing, but this time we're going to use concat. Now when you start to type in concat, you'll see that you get two things come up in the list, concat and concatenate. Now concatenate is what this function used to be called, and they changed it a few years ago to concat. But concatenate does still exist in the Excel database, but know that it has a warning symbol next to it, letting you know that that is kind of an old function and concat is the newest version. So concat works in a similar way. Our argument is the first piece of text. So we want the first name, comma, text two. Now again, if I was just to select the last name and close the bracket, it's gonna give me that with no space. So what I need to do in here is my text two needs to be the space. So again, quote mark space, quote mark, comma. And then when I hit enter, I'm going to get the format that I need. So slightly different to using ampersands, and I'll leave it up to you which of those methods you find easiest to remember. Now just to finish off this exercise, let's take a look at a, a slightly more complex example. Now this time I want to concatenate the name and the job title, and this is the format I want to use. So I want a space separating the first and last name, and then I want a space dash space, and then the job title. So let's do this both ways. If I was just using the ampersand symbols, what I could do here is I could say I want A4 ampersand. We need a space in there. So quote marks, space, quote marks, ampersand. Then we want the last name, ampersand. And then we want space dash space. So quote marks, space dash space, close quotes, ampersand, and then we want the job title. So we can select the cell. Let's hit enter and we get exactly what we're looking for. I could then copy that down for all of the others. So that is how we would use the ampersands to concatenate slightly more complex text strings. What about if we were to use the concat function for this? Is it any simpler? Well, let's see. Text one is Mary, comma. Remember, our space is our next piece of text. So quote mark, space, quote mark, comma. We then want our text three, which is the last name, comma. Then we want space dash space. So quote mark, space dash space, 
close quote mark, comma, and then finally we want the job title. Close off the concat function, hit enter, and again, we get exactly what we're looking for. So that is how ampersand and concat work. So now we've seen how we can join text together, let's take a look at doing that on our sales worksheet. So just for this example, we're going to concatenate the country and the product name again. So let's add in a column, control shift plus, and let's use concat to do this. So I'm going to type in concat text number one. So our first piece of text is going to be the country. Now I want this to have space and then I want the product name, but I want the product name to be in brackets. So my text two is going to be a space, quote mark, space, quote mark, comma. What is my text three going to be? Well, I actually want a bracket in there. So again, in quote marks, because a bracket is considered text, I'm going to do an opening bracket, close the quote mark, comma. Then I want the word Kensington, comma, and then I want a closing bracket. So quote mark, close, quote mark, and then close off the concat function. Now that looks like a really weird function when you just look at it with all of these quote marks in there, but hopefully when we hit enter, we're going to get exactly what we want. And we do, and we can double click to copy that down. Now, just for fun, let's see what that would look like if we were using ampersands. So equals Japan. Then we want an ampersand. Then we want a space, quote, space, quote, ampersand. Then we want an opening bracket. So quote, bracket, quote, ampersand. Then we want the product, cell B2, ampersand. And then we want our closing bracket, quote, closing bracket, quote, and that is it. Hit enter and we get exactly the same thing. So once again, I will leave it to you as to which of those methods you prefer. Now we don't actually want to combine these like that. So I'm just simply going to delete out that column. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe. So you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there and click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.